What's up guys and welcome back and this is Vengtesh. In this video, I am going to talk about one more interesting topic. Before getting into the details, do subscribe to the channel and make sure that the notifications are on so that you don't miss any of my videos. News of hacking through WhatsApp garnered headlines after the revelation of a mobile phone spyware a malicious software used to infiltrate the device and steal the data causing a threat to the security of the users the security breach enabled the sophisticated cyber actors to install the bug into the targeted user's phone just by making a missed voice call which will not even be visible in the phone's log thereby leaving no traces behind the spyware would let the hackers troll the messages texts calls or other information on the devices of the target users WhatsApp a Facebook owned messaging app is considered simple and safe and is used by approximately 1.5 billion users all over the world sending more than 65 billion messages per day The issue affected WhatsApp for Android iOS as well as Windows phone Facebook described the hacking thus a buffer overflow vulnerability in WhatsApp VoIP stack that is voice over internet protocol stack that allowed a remote code execution via specially crafted series of SRTCP packets that is secure real time transport protocol packets sent to a target phone number a buffer overflow is where a program runs into memory it should not have access to it overflows the memory it should have and hence as access to memory in which malicious code can potentially be run if you are able to pass some code through the app you can run your own code in that area in voip that is voice over internet protocol there is an initial process that dials up and establishes the call and the flaw was in that bit consequently you did not need to answer the call for the attack to work As per newspaper reports, Facebook and WhatsApp informed that the attack has all the hallmarks of the private company reportedly that works with governments to deliver spyware that takes over the functions of mobile phone operating systems. This hacking affected the Android, Apple and Windows phones and ties in devices compromising personal information. As cases of hacking came into the spotlight, the company cautioned users and urged them to update their cell phones to the latest version of the app and keep the operating system of the mobile updated to ensure security against the parcel of spyware designed to steal stored information. Although the spyware was not for mass surveillance attackers targeted high profiles like nuclear scientists a human rights lawyer journalists activists or a government spy such incidents of hacking often spark fear confusion uncertainties and sometimes even misinterpretations so it is very important to understand that there is a by default encryption facility in whatsapp making it difficult for stealers to access messages but the situation is different in current hacking case in 2018 checkpoint research revealed that the vulnerabilities in the app could allow attackers to intercept and other messages in phones and enable hackers to develop and spread false information In recent times WhatsApp web malware has also surfaced. WhatsApp web is the desktop app with which WhatsApp can be accessed on your desktop by scanning the code on the phone. There are cases where criminals have transferred the malicious software to the desktop app. Other instances including unencrypted backups and Facebook data sharing have also raised concern over the security of data. As of now Facebook data sharing is not supported. The messages sent via WhatsApp are end to end encrypted and are decoded by the recipient only hence preventing the messages from being stolen during transmission. However, WhatsApp also holds an option to back up the chats or data. However, this is not shielded by end to end encryption and so may give advantage to criminals to peep into the older chats if they break into the cloud storage account. Cyber attackers have various reasons for trying to sneaking past security systems some do it as a challenge others for data some for popularity and some for sharpening their programming abilities 
In most instances, when breaches are encountered, they are swiftly patched up. But sometimes such cases of hacking cause damage to people and organizations, bringing huge loss of data and money. The leak of confidential data may compromise real world security. So we all need to shield our devices, apps from attackers. And these are some security measures we can take. Often users are not aware of the importance of updating the software for operating systems or apps. Installing the updated software is very important to secure your devices against vulnerabilities. Set strong and difficult passwords for every service or app and keep changing the password regularly. If possible, enable two-factor authentication or verification to restrict hackers signing into accounts which may reduce the risk of unsecured passwords or shared passwords being hacked from different sites you use. Install or download secure and trustworthy apps or services which give malware security. Refrain from downloading fake or pirated software and stop clicking on unknown links in emails or messages which may download malicious programs on the device. Keep deleting the browser's history and clean the memory of your device regularly because the web browsers like Chrome, Firefox keep records of the sites visited for some time which may enable attackers to steal the details of online activities. Avoid using free, unsecured, wireless access on public networks for financial transactions as this is an open invitation to access. Public Wi-Fi VPN protection can be installed so that the data traveling between devices, that is computer and mobile and the VPN service is securely encrypted. Use the secure version of standard HTTP that is HTTPS. Here S stands for secure. HTTPS is used for secure communication or networks. A lock icon in the address bar can also be clicked to know more about website security. There are certain basic network settings which could be manually adjusted in the device like trusted and non-trusted networks etc. And these are some security measures that everyone has to take in order to protect the data instead of just relying on the apps or the operating systems. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit a thumbs up if it found useful for you. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting topic. Thank you.